This modern disco lounge is starting to come together. We've got paint on the walls and a design for the exterior wrap, but our fridge project is still at a standstill. We're missing the upper insert panel that illuminated graphics should attach to. The good news? At least our disco floor came out great. Todd. Take, take a look at this. That is cool. Variable speed, so you can adjust it however you like or keep it solid. You yeah. need to shut the regular lights off and see trip out on it. Yeah, this thing will really pop once we have the curtains in and the whole thing is blacked out, oh, just yeah. these lights on, that's gonna be yeah. fun. That's when I really wanna see that. This floor's incredible. We can check it off our to-do list. Now it's time to move on to the RV's window treatments. Above sofa, kitchen sink, cornice box. Cornice boxes are decorative and they hide window treatment hardware, but these are really ugly. We're gonna change that. You need help? I will be at the hospital. <laughs> How, what are we at now, measurement-wise? 20. We're rewrapping the existing frames in a new fabric that will update the space by using some really outrageous material. Fun fur. It's synthetic, inexpensive, and easy to install. It comes in many colors. We chose purple, tying in with our bold disco theme. So you kind of create the whole little touchy-feely fun while you're in there. <gasps> Stop it! Edward Anthony, did you just cut my hair? You really cut my hair! I heard you're having a bad hair day. He's forbidden to play with scissors. She wasn't working. I had to get her attention. While Susie and Eddie try to play nice, we still need a solution for that missing insert panel so we can complete our disco fridge project. So we have no panels, so what's our workaround? Um, I can cut some wood to fit inside there. Some sort of a backing, that's all okay. we need. After a quick search, Danny was able to find some quarter inch scrap plywood to match the missing panel. No, th that's fine, we'll use this one and that one. Does that work? Yeah, that'll work. Very good. Recycle, reuse. Once the plywood was cut to size, our lighting guys went to work. They had printed up some really colorful disco graphics to go over the top and bottom parts of those fridge panels. It already looks awesome. I can't wait to see it lit up. It's going to animate. This is going to be blinking in the center and then the bottom part. So it'll be dancing all over the place. You can change the sequence, the speed of it. Definitely, it'll look cool. And just like that, we have an amazing appliance getting us one step closer to completing this mobile disco lounge. Okay, let's cut one piece at a time. Meanwhile, Susie and Eddie are reupholstering the cornice boxes. They're cutting away. Snip, snip, snip. Perfect. <laughs> then they'll spray it with some adhesive and secure the whole thing with a staple gun. Mission accomplished. They're fabulous. I love them. You got that one? I got it. Yep. Thank you, bro. The inside is really getting its disco on, but the outside still needs a lot of love. Joanne and Charlene attempted to repaint Ernie themselves, but ended up making a mess, so Christy is sanding it all down. Once we get rid of those paint drips and other imperfections, the vinyl wrap can go on smoothly, making this RV look brand new. Good morning, sunshine. How are you? Good. We're gonna get this all prepped for you. We don't want those lumps to come out on your wrap. Christy did a great job and finished just about the time the guy showed up to install the new vinyl vehicle wrap. I got the back and two of the driver. Once the vinyl wrap is printed, it's installed in sections. What's great about vinyl wraps is they're much more versatile than a standard paint job. Any design can be created and printed right onto the vinyl material. Love that. But this is like the hottest thing ever and it totally matches what we're doing. Vinyl is also very easy to keep clean, unlike a standard paint job. It won't ever rust, and if you want to change it, you can just peel it off and install a new one. In a few hours, Ernie's outside is going to be as funky as his inside. Okay, that means we're in the home stretch and on to installing furniture. Oh, the color's beautiful. Our new disco fridge is the exact same size as the old one, and it fits like a glove. Party! The sleeper sofas are installed next. When fully extended, these sofas convert into large beds, providing plenty of space for these kids to snooze. We chose ultra leather for the pieces, not only because of the sleek look, but because leather is so easy to clean. A good thing when you're dealing with a bunch of kids. We're almost there on this build. Um, we're just really down to cleaning it and doing the finishing touches. Todd, 
standing. What are we doing with this? That's coming in. It's just the fluff and fun part. All the heavy lifting is done and everything is looking great. I think that when Joanne, Charlene, and the kids see this, they are going to be blown away. Danny will show oh you the way. Oh my goodness! That's not her. You bought a new one.